So in this example, the exact same thing is going to be the case. What we're simply going to do is break apart um, our tangent, our angle. And in this case, we have tangent. All right. The only difference, ladies and gentlemen, is now we have a different formula. Jade, we're using a different formula. So now our formula in this case is going to be the tangent. Again, we're using u plus v. I'm going to write down the formula just so you guys can see how I'm adding these in. Do you, have a sheet of paper? Do you need a sheet of paper? No? OK. So therefore, this then is going to become tangent of u plus tangent of v divided by 1 minus tangent of u times tangent of v. That is the formula I told you guys to write down. Okay. Now, since we already have it broken apart, all we're simply going to do is plug in our u and our v. And I'm going to do the work over here because it's going it's to be a couple steps that we're going to use. OK, so it's going to be tangent of 60 degrees plus tangent of 45 degrees <coughs> all over 1 minus tangent of 60 degrees times the tangent of 45 degrees. Does everybody see how I just plugged in 60 degrees in for u and 45 degrees in for v? Does everybody see that? That's it. That's all I did. That's all I did. Yes? Why do you subtract? That's just the formula. So the formula, if you're adding, add and then subtract. Oh, if you're subtracting, you subtract and then add. It's just the formula is how they are. Okay. So the only time that does that is tangent and cosine. You can see how they're switched for tangent and cosine. See that? And again, it's just the formulas. Um, if my memory serves me correct. Mr. McLogan? Yes. I need Zach Sani to check out my front office, please. OK. Thank you. Zach, just make sure you have the homework written down. Um, ba, 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 what was I going to say? Um, oh, you will not need to memorize these formulas. Okay, not, they're not like the identities. The identities you'll need to know. These you'll definitely will not need to know. Huh? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll help you with those, okay? I'll be over there in a second. So if you guys look at this, I'll explain, I'll simplify it for you. If you guys look at this, the tangent of 60 degrees. We just did a whole bunch of tangent of 60 degrees. You guys should know that the coordinate point for tangent of 60 degrees, I'm going to erase this here real quick. So you guys should be able to know that the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 half over the square root of 3 over 2. I tried to give you guys um, enough practice with this, so therefore that you guys can know that this simplified version is the square root of 3 over 3. I don't have time to go over this. You just did tons. Of, I've been asking you to do this for the last three days. You've been doing these problems. Okay. If you need help, I can help you out. Just don't have time right now. Tangent of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, which equals 1. right? And then the tangent of 30 degrees, I'll, I'll eliminate all these. Tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Again, 60 degrees, sorry. Again, I am assuming that you guys have done all the work that I've asked you to do for the last three days. And you realize that you can easily simplify this to the square root of 3. Okay. So really, the only difference is the things that you guys need to remember as you're getting into this. You should not have to draw the unit circle and do y over x. If, you, if, you're, having, if you're taking a test and you're like freaking out and you like totally forget everything you ever learned, then yes, that's exactly what you do. Graph the unit circle, first quadrant, find the x and the y coordinate, and then do y over x and simplify it. But I'm trying to get you guys to have completed so many of these tangent problems, hence why I gave you so many of them to do this. So therefore, you automatically see, oh, that tangent, that's square root of 3. Oh, that tangent, that's going to be square root of 3 over 3. You should already know this by now without having to do all this math. 
because if you're having to do all this math for problems like this, these, math, these problems are going to take you a very, very long time. All right, so I have tangent of 60 degrees, which is just going to be square root of 3. OK, good. So I have square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 minus square root of 3 times 1. Sweet. Everybody understand? Agree? All right, so now I can simplify this to the square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 minus the square root of 3. Now, in my Algebra 2 class, one of the things that we've been learning is how to get rid of a radical in the denominator. Even though that is a correct answer, um, technically we want to get rid of our radicals in the denominator. So what we'd like to do is multiply by the conjugate. Correct. So now I will resume the problem over here. So what's nice about multiplying by your conjugate, well, what you notice up here is you have a binomial squared. Can I multiply this out in my head? Is that OK, using FOIL? And then you have a difference of two squares in the denominator. So this becomes, I'm going to rearrange those in my head. So that's the answer I got, non-simplified, kind of. Does anybody have any questions on either one of my numbers up top where I got those? Is everybody OK with those? You can ask. It's OK. Everybody's OK? Yes? Question? No? What about my denominators? Everybody understand where I got the 1 and the 3 and why I don't have any more radicals? I guess if you have questions, you can ask later then, huh? OK. So therefore, I end up with 4 plus 2 square root of 3 divided by uh, 2, or negative 2. Then this negative 2, just like distributive property, can divide into both of those. So my final answer is a negative 2 minus the square root of 3. Done. And I didn't even do a hard tangent.